on, y'all. My nose wet. Let me tell y'all something. I wholeheartedly agree with that meme saying, I don't know what the government put in this pollen this year. This girl is dying, okay? Let's get it together, because we can't be on camera with no booger nose. All bats clear? All right, we good? We good. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. This your girl Shanice Alicia and y'all already know we are back with another video baby. So I did a poll on my Twitter just to allow you guys to vote on what you wanted me to record this week. Now I ain't gonna lie I thought y'all was gonna choose the Chunky Twist Out tutorial, the Get Unready With Me, something real simple. But here we are about to practice <sighs> well not even practice this 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 is not even a game this is not a trial run this is the real deal we are about to see what all the hype is about with this clay mask on natural hair so before i even took my happy go lucky self to the store to purchase it i had to figure out what the benefits were what should i be expecting from my hair and then is my hair gonna be sitting inside of the palm of my hand when I get done washing this all out? Like I just needed to know before I purchased it. So I will say this, I saw nothing but good reviews. I did see a few of the benefits that I'll, you know, just go ahead and let you guys know that are my top three that I wanna see my hair gain from this product. Now, um, I've used apple cider vinegar, like a diluted mixture of it, you know, after my shampoo, after my conditioner, to really give my hair like the deepest clean ever, clarifying my scalp and stuff. So the fact that this is incorporated with that, I'm excited to see what we're gonna get. So first things first, my number one expectation from this is just to improve the elasticity of my hair, okay? And all that means is that sometimes when I'm doing my hair after I wash my hair, I don't necessarily see that shrinkage. Like I don't see that, you know, like you pull your hair out and your hair just springs back. I wanna get that back because I lost it a long time ago and I was just hoping my hair would do it on its own. So I hope this clay is able to get that up and rolling for me. Secondly, this is supposed to purify and remove all the toxins from your hair and scalp, which I really love because sometimes we don't get deep enough. Um, our shampoos and our co-washes, they don't do the job, you know, all the way. They do good, but this is just, you know, like how a mask is supposed to work for your face and your skin and all of that good stuff. That's what I expect it to do, you know, in the hair and the scalp. So that's number two. And then number three, <sighs> out of all things, I want this to penetrate inside of my cuticle, flush any of those impurities out and allow my hair to retain moisture. Those are the top three things that I really want to see from this mask. Those are some of the benefits that I've seen from reviews and what I've read online. So I'm hoping that, you know, I ain't gotta be disappointed at the end of this, um, I don't even know what I want to call it because we experiencing this together. I don't even know if this is a tutorial. We just gonna how to apply, okay? So, <sighs> let us pray. First things first, I'm gonna mix it up. I'm taking it in the pancake mix kind of route. Like, it says to do equal parts of your liquid to your powder. So I'm just taking that as pour the powder, pour the liquid, mix it until you get the consistency that you want. I'm not gonna make it rocket science. I'm gonna make a pretty good mixture um, amount wise so that I don't have to remake it halfway through the process. And then I'm gonna go ahead and separate my hair into maybe like four to six sections, saturate each section completely with water, detangle it, because I'm not sure if by the time I add the mask in, if my hair is actually going to allow me to detangle it. So I'ma just be safe rather than sorry, okay? And then, um, yeah, that's it. So let's get into this, y'all. I'm scared. 
But I know y'all wanted to see this and I hope it does actually work out because this is something that I will incorporate into my regimen once a month or at least every other month because I feel like a good deep cleanse, you know, mask is always gonna be good for your face and your hair. So, um, all right on to the mixture. But before we get there, y'all go ahead and press that subscribe button, baby, and tap the bell, just so you don't miss another video that I post, because I know you'll be back, right, right? All right. Okay, just starting with my mixture here, I'm going to do a good amount in the bowl. You want to use a glass or plastic bowl. They said no metals, so you don't want to use a metal mixer or a metal bowl. I'm going to pour my mixture in here, shake up my apple cider vinegar, add that in as well, and just kind of play with the consistency until I get the desired one that I want. All right guys, so I got a good consistency of what I wanted my clay to be like, not too thick, not too thin. I'm gonna go ahead and separate my hair now into six sections. Like, I'm gonna make sure that it gets on each and every strand that it can get on because I really want to reap the benefits of the product. So I'm gonna go ahead and just separate and clamp my hair into these sections. Now, let me tell y'all something. This thing smell like booty. It does not smell good, so pray for me in my nostrils, cause I don't know. All right, so, yeah, I'm gonna pray about this. I have my hair separated into sections. I actually made this back section a little bit smaller because, you know, you just gotta see how it work on one area and then bring it way back. So, go ahead and saturate and detangle this section. So I'm gonna spray it completely, wetting my scalp, wetting all the way down to the ends, just, you know, working that water in there as though, you know, I'm actually shampooing my hair and then I'm gonna detangle. Okay, so my hair is completely saturated back here. It is kind of dirty. I haven't washed my hair since I did the um, Cream of Nature Pure Honey review, and that was a few weeks ago, so that's all right. That's all right, so that's the residue that you guys might be seeing on there, but I'm gonna go ahead and start with this clay. Ooh. Mm. It sounds disgusting. <laughs> I was going to use um, like an applicator bottle, put it in there and then kind of squirt it on my hair because I did see one girl do that in a tutorial, but here we are doing it this way. So. not that bad I know it's gonna harden but right now it's really easy for me to maneuver my fingers through it so I'm gonna kind of separate it and make sure I'm getting it like root to in so that it's not missing a spot and I'm dropping a bunch of it Hair looks straight. 
in some of the reviews that I saw, girl's hair was curling up as soon as they put it on there. Oh, Lord. Had to get a towel. Things started getting a little out of hand up here. First of all, let me take a break. I look a hot clay mess. I don't know if y'all can see that I have clay dripping down my shirt. I had to get a towel because I don't know where I thought I was going. Anyway, so now that it's completely on this side, I feel it kind of getting all tight, like tingly warmy. Well, not tingly, but like, you know how like a mask gets like really warm on its own? It's getting a little warm. And it's staying in place, it's stuck. My curls aren't defined like I saw in the other reviews I was watching, but I guess I can wait. All right, y'all, the clay is all over my hair on each and every strand that's in my head. This side, of course, is a lot harder because this is the side that I started on. And then this side, you know, just now got the product on there, so it's getting a little warm tingling around like my skin areas where it's actually on let me tell y'all something <clears throat> i kept this shirt on before i even went to change it because i want y'all to know this is not an easy um this is not an easy process okay this is gonna require you getting down to the dirty the, the nitty-gritty so make sure um in all seriousness that you actually get a towel to put around yourself and because you're not going to be recording you don't have to necessarily worry about your entire area getting messed up but you want to make sure that you do wear something you don't mind getting dirty i have clay everywhere I'm going to actually let it sit for 30 minutes so I'm gonna clean up get my life together and then I'll bring you guys back when it's time to wash it out all right so this step is pretty simple I'm just going to wash my hair until the water runs clear and then once that process is done I'm gonna deep condition and come on out so you guys can see the final results
All right, so y'all, this is the final product. Um, like I told y'all before, my hair usually doesn't have any definition while it's wet. It usually kind of just dangles like it is, but you can see in some areas where there are little curls kind of coiling. I feel like it's super hydrated. In the shower, as you saw, I washed it out and um, once I finished showing you guys the process, I just closed it and washed my hair until the water ran clear. And then I did a deep conditioner, which was just my Aussie 3 Minute Moist. I did that and I let it sit on there. I ran my fingers through it and then I just rinsed it out. So I will say this clay might be added into my monthly regimen just so that I can do a good cleanse because I feel like my scalp is extremely clean. My hair just feels so, not dried out, but it just feels so like, like just clean. Like, you know that feeling that I'm talking about? Like squeaky, but not dry and brittle. So you already know what to do. Press that red subscribe button, baby. Tap the bell. Love y'all. So I thought, so I thought, so I thought I